Welcome everyone. All right. Looks like we're going to be just about ready to go. Of course, I do do this at least three nights a week. Last night I was on. That was a little extra for the week. And it, be sure to check out last night's replay. It was very good. I had a guest on live in person. So we were both the same location. And we talked about evangelism as a very good, very good broadcast. And my thanks again to Pastor Eliza Cortez Bast for joining me last night. And make sure you go back and check out that replay. All right, so let's go ahead and hit that prayer list and then we'll get on. You know, with the rest of it, because we still have scripture reading, we have the daily devotional. And of course, anybody that comes along in the audience that has a prayer request, just type it in the chat. And I'll definitely pray for you. All right, so let us begin. And even on the replay, I appreciate you putting an amen on these prayers. Father God, we give you thanks for your love, grace, and mercy. And Father, we thank you for sending Jesus, who laid down his life and shed his blood on the cross to pay the penalty for our sin, by whose stripes we were healed. And Jesus, we thank you for giving your name and authority to every believer to do the Great Commission. That is, preach the gospel to every creature, making disciples of all nations, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. And by that authority, we come to you on behalf of Singing Pretty. I command that pain to depart from her now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for your favor for Neoma and Sword of Michael for getting their houses sold quickly and for a good price. And we come to you on behalf of Prairie Fire. And Father, we just ask that you meet Prairie Fire's needs. Father, that you continue to lead him, guide him, and protect him. And we come to you on behalf of Virgie Richard. Man, her be healed now by the stripes of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. And Father, we ask for your favor for, for Greg to get either $1,500 or $200 a month so that he can upgrade his broadcast and be even more effective for your kingdom. We thank you for guiding and protecting Cameron and his children. We thank you for delivering 320's mom from depression, for delivering Tom from bipolar and migraines, and for protecting Gloria and her family. Yes, come to you on behalf of Stephanie, command her back be healed now in the name of Jesus. Those muscles must be loosed. All that pain and stiffness must go now. And we come to you on behalf of Lady Ward. And Father, we thank you for developing that fruit of the Spirit self-control in her so she can stop eating sugar and maintain a healthy lifestyle. We thank you for touching her husband's heart. We thank you for, for providing Jamal with safe and affordable and dependable housing. And we command that spirit of heaviness to depart from Jamal now in the name of Jesus. We come to you on behalf of Michael. We ask for your will to be done in his life, that he would fully embrace you and become a godly leader in his home. We come to you on behalf of Jenna, Mary, and Sarah. We ask for your continued will and protection to be done in their lives. We come to you on behalf of Sandra. We thank you for developing adaptability, patience, peace, clarity, and focus in her. And then, Father, we ask that you continue to develop self-control in her. And to grant her favor in obtaining the, that theater and the block it sits on so that she can use it for the glory of Jesus. We come to you on behalf of Nikisha. Father, we ask that you help her develop self-control so that she can stop eating sugar. 
We command diabetes to depart from her now in the name of Jesus. Command her kidneys be healed. All that pain depart from her now in the name of Jesus. And we come to you on behalf of KCJ. Command her kidneys be healed. Father, we ask that you'd be with her and her family as they mourn the loss of their loved ones. Command all that pain depart from her now, from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. And we come to you on behalf of Ryan's dad, and we thank you for that. Well, just the return of his memory. That he's regaining memory that he lost, and that his brain and mind continue to heal. And we come to you on behalf of Pistol Packing Patriot, and Father, we just ask that you grant her favor in finding safe and affordable housing in the right location. Then we come to you on behalf of Skylar. We thank you for guiding him in Bible study. We thank you for delivering John from MRSA. And we come to you on behalf of Ames, Means, and then, Father, we just ask that you grant her favor in getting that new liver. Father, that, that new liver would come sooner rather than later, and she'd be, just receive that transplant and be fully healed in no time flat. It's quicker than the doctors ever thought possible so that they knew it was all you. And we come to you on behalf of Yvette Donahue and command head colds and chest colds to depart from her now in the name of Jesus. Grant her strength and circulation be restored by the stripes of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Anybody got a prayer request, type it in the chat. I'm going to go ahead and start looking up to see what the daily devotion is for today. It's possible that it's already the 10th of September. And yet it is. This month is flying by so fast. All right, of course, I'm reading from Wisdom for Life, 365 devotions from the book of Proverbs, written by Ray Comfort. And the title of today's devotion, Pick Up the Pieces. He who is slothful in his work is a brother to him who is great, a great destroyer. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 9. Excuse me. Oh, sorry about yawning. It's been a long week. It's interesting to note that when Jesus fed the 5,000, he told his disciples to pick up the leftover bread. As Christians, we should follow in his steps and take care not to waste our food knowing it's a provision from God and that many go hungry on a daily basis. Neither should we waste our money. Rather, we should use it to take care of our family and then use it to further the kingdom of God. We should also be careful not to waste our time. It is a wise man or woman who cries with the psalmist, teach us to number our days that we might gain the heart of wisdom. Psalm 90, verse 12. We can waste our life by living for our own fleeting pleasures. Instead, we should use precious time to bring pleasure to heaven by seeking to save those who are lost. Soul search, how do I use my time? Do I value every minute of every day? And the prayer, Father, please remind me to be wise with my precious time. Amen. All right, any prayer requests yet from anybody? I can see the Rumble chat. I can see Foxhole chat, Facebook, YouTube. DLive always comes through real good on Restream, so shouldn't be any problems there. Really. On about the usual time, so anybody that was wanting to catch the broadcast should have been expecting it. Unlike last night, I jumped on. Had a get special guest, and we discussed evangelism. Very good instruction for every believer. So I would encourage everybody to go back and look at last night's. That was from September the 9th. It was only about 37 minute long broadcast last night, but it was packed full of good stuff. Good stuff for every believer. Right. 
right, well, I don't see anybody jump on here yet. We just move on to the scripture reading. Yeah, if I get that done, nobody else is coming in with prayer requests. I'll probably just call it a night and go get some sleep. Let's see, let's drop, drop this chat overlay. That'll make the scriptures look bigger on the screen. See? I'm down the corner. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and we are reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 9 tonight. The New King James Translation. Am I not an apostle? Am I not free? Have I not seen Jesus Christ our Lord? Are you not my work in the Lord? If I am not an apostle to others, yet doubtless I am to you. For you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. My defense to those who examine me is this. Do we have no right to eat and drink? Do we have no right to take along a believing wife? As do others, as do also the other apostles, the brothers of the Lord, and Cephas. Or is it only Barnabas and I who have no right to refrain from working? Whoever goes to war at his own expense, who plants a vineyard and does not eat of its fruit, or who tends a flock and does not drink of the milk of the flock? Do I say these things as mere man, or does not the law say the same also? For it is written in the law of Moses, You shall not muzzle an ox while it treads out the grain. Is it oxen God is concerned about, or does he say it altogether for our sakes? For our sakes, no doubt, this is written, that he who plows should plow in hope, and he who threshes in hope should he be partaker of his hope. If we have sown spiritual things for you, is it a great, is it a great thing if we reap your material things? If others are partakers of this right over you, are we not even more? Nevertheless, we have not used this right, but endure all things lest we hinder the gospel of Christ. Do you not know that those who minister the holy things eat of the things of the temple, and those who serve at the altar partake of the offerings of the altar? Even so, the Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should live from the gospel. But I have used these things, nor have I written these things that it should be done so to me, for it would be better for me to die than that anyone should make my boast void. For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of. For necessity is laid upon me, yes, woe is to me if I do not preach the gospel. For if I do this willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What is my reward then? that when I preach the gospel, I may present the gospel of Christ without charge, that I may not abuse my authority in the gospel. For though I am free from all men, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win the more. And to the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might win Jews. To those who are under the law, as under the law, that I might win those who are under the law. To those who are without law, as without law, not being without law toward God, but under law toward Christ, that I might win those who are without law. To the weak I became as weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all men, that I might, might by all means save some. Now this I do for the gospel's sake, that I may be a partaker of it with you. Do you not know that those who run in a, in a race all run? but one receives the prize. Run in such a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who competes for the prize is temper temperate in all things. Now they do obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. Therefore I run thus, not with uncertainty. Thus I fight, not as one who beats the air, but I discipline my body and bring it into subjection. Lest, when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. All 
that. There we go. There, chat overlay back. And I have not seen any prayer requests coming through. It doesn't look like we have very many people in the audience. Got a couple on Rumble. And there's this other one. One on YouTube, it says. So, anybody who, of course, we can't tell who, how many are on Fox Soul or D-Live, but if any of you, any of you at all, have a prayer request, you want prayer for yourself, a family member, or a friend, go ahead and type it in the chat now, because if not, I'm going to go ahead and end the broadcast, go get some sleep. But I want everybody to have the opportunity to get their prayer request answered. Okay. For those on the replay, you can always put your prayer request in the chat. I will get a notification and see it. Or you can send it to that email address at the bottom of the screen. And even if it's a prayer request that you have that you want to keep private, confidential, you can send it to that email address. I'll pray. I can pray for you through email. I've seen God work many miracles through email praying that way. So it can happen. God does heal through email. He, he has a, a lot of miracles that take place, not just healing. So you can always send your prayer request to that email address if you have something you want, want kept private. All right, I'm just going to wait. About another 60 seconds or so. Let's see if anybody else has a prayer request. Thank you, Tippy on Foxhole. For, yeah, on Foxhole for the support. I very much appreciate it. And if you do have a prayer request, if you... Unless it's something private that you don't want made public, you can go ahead and type it in the chat. I can see the foxhole chat right now, so feel free to type in any prayer requests for yourself, family members, or friends. Yeah, I appreciate everybody that gives support. The likes, the shares, the follows, they're all very much appreciated and very helpful. All right, holy moly, welcome. Absolutely, we can do that. Just appreciate if you put an amen on the prayer. So, Father God, we come to you on behalf of Uncle Chris and Cousin Aaron. So, Father God, we ask that you protect them and guide them as they're on that mission trip, Father, that you would work through them to accomplish your purpose, that you'd allow them the honor of having a front row seat to watch you work for the glory of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, Malawi, Africa, that's a long ways. Yeah, that'd be great. She's on my prayer list. I prayed for her, her again tonight that she get that liver, but yeah, that'd be good too. So, Father God, we come to you on behalf of Ames Means. So, Father, we ask that you would send one of your children who you can work through to Ames so that they can lay their hand on her and she can receive the healing of her liver. And I make this request in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, you're welcome, Holy Moly. That's what I'm here for. And thank you for allowing me the honor of praying for your family. I don't, I don't take that lightly. You're welcome, Tippy. So, yeah, by all means. And if you got any more prayer requests, there's no limit to how many prayer requests you can have. So just keep typing them in until we cover the list. <laughs> Whatever's on your prayer list, we just we just will take care of it all before bedtime. That's awesome. 
That's awesome, Tippy. Yeah, we all should be praying. Absolutely. Something powerful about corporate prayer when you get, well, where, what does it say? Where two or more are gathered in the, in the name of Jesus, that he'll be there in the midst of them. So. Oh, thank you, Holy Moly, for the cookie. And thank you very much for the well wishes. Yeah. I can't figure out why people don't want to do the Great Commission because, yeah, it's a, it's a little uncomfortable overcoming the flesh. The flesh says, oh, don't do that. You look like a fool, blah, blah, blah. If you push through and just be obedient to God and let him use you, you get a front row seat to watch God work. You get to celebrate with the people who have received a miracle from God and give glory to the name of Jesus Christ. You get to give him praise, glory, and honor, and you get to experience the joy of the Lord in the midst of that. It's well worth the little bit of uncomfortable you have at the beginning. You know, when you go in to pray for somebody. So. And when some when you share the gospel with people. And you actually get somebody who right there on the spot accepts Jesus. Talk about joy of the Lord. My goodness. It's a celebration. Because you know that Jesus is just. They accepted Jesus, and Jesus has just now transformed them. They've just been born again. <laughs> and that's when discipleship really starts, because they need guidance. Oh, that's not ridiculous at all, Tippy. And Jesus already bought the healing of that wound, too. By his stripes, you were healed. So let us pray. So, Father God, we come to you and we give you thanks for your love, your grace, and your mercy. Father, thank you for sending Jesus who laid down his life and shed his blood on the cross to pay the penalty for our sin, by whose stripes we were healed. And Jesus, we thank you for giving your name and authority to every believer to do the Great Commission. That is, to preach the gospel to every creature, making disciples of all nations, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. And by that authority, we come to you on behalf of Tippy. I command all pain in that lip depart from her now in the name of Jesus. Pain, you must go now. There's no plan B, no other option. The pain must leave. I command it in the name of Jesus Christ, by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> That's all right, Tippy. You can post it three times if you want to. <laughs> all right. We'll test that out and tell me how much difference you notice. It must be because it only showed up once on my screen, too. Test out that lip and let me know how much difference you notice. Because we know pain-free is God's best for you. And Jesus already paid for that healing. Think about that. Every injury you ever receive, Jesus has already paid for the healing of it before you ever got injured. That's good because we know now we know it's God's will for you to be healed. If it hadn't been, it wouldn't have dropped to a five. Sometimes that pain can be stubborn. So we're going to pray again and we're, and we're going to get rid of that pain. Father God, we give you thanks that that pain went from an eight to a five. And Father, we know your best for Tippy is 100% pain free, perfect healing. 
And so now by the authority that Jesus Christ has given me to do the Great Commission, I command that pain to go from five to zero now by the stripes of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. All pain must leave her lip now. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, try her out again and let me know how much difference you notice. <laughs> That's right, holy moly. We're from eight to five, and we're looking for four to go from five to zero. I'm going to wait for a report, see how much change there's been. I'm expecting perfect healing, pain-free. From five to three. See, it's going down. So sometimes it can be stubborn, but that's all right. Because we don't take no for an answer when we tell that pain to get out. Father God, we come to you and we give you thanks that that pain went from a eight to a five and now from a five to a three. Father, we know your perfect will is for her to be pain free, completely free of pain. We know that Jesus already paid for this healing. And we give all praise, glory, and honor to the name of Jesus Christ for this healing. I command that the last bit of that pain, that three, you must leave now. All of you. You have no other option. There's no possible outcome. All pain must go now by the stripes of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. All right. Let me know. Try it out. Test it and let me know how much difference you notice. So we started an act out at an eight, went from eight to five, and then from five to three. I'm just going to hang out and wait for the report. I'm looking for a praise report. <laughs> That's awesome. I know it's good to see her smile. All right. 
That's what we like to hear. We say, thank you, Jesus. Hey, all I did was pray. Jesus healed it. So, yeah, Jesus is the one who healed that lip. He paid for it by his stripes. You were healed. <laughs> You're welcome, holy moly. Yeah, now, now I got the joy of the Lord, and I'm, Jesus is so awesome. <laughs> hey, blessings, EGA. Welcome. Let me think about that. 2,000 years ago, by the stripes Jesus took on the way to the cross, he paid for the healing of that lip. People just don't understand. Jesus paid for the healing of every illness, the healing of every injury. It's all been paid for. By his stripes, we were healed. They're just aren't words. I mean, Jesus is awesome. <laughs> Even that falls short. It doesn't isn't adequate to, to get the sentiment across. <laughs> well, absolutely, EGA. So everybody will join me in prayer for EGA. He needs healing and curing his heart. So, Father God, we give you thanks for your love, your grace, and your mercy. And Father, thank you for sending Jesus, who laid down his life on the cross and shed his blood to pay the penalty for our sin by whose stripes we were healed. And Jesus, we thank you for giving us your name and authority to do the Great Commission. And that is to preach the gospel to every creature, making disciples of all nations, heal the sick, cleanse lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. And by that authority, we come to you on behalf of EGA. Command his cardiovascular system. Be healed now. All inflammation must go now. And all scar tissue in and around that heart be replaced with healthy new tissue that functions properly. Command the flexibility and elasticity of those valves be restored in the name of Jesus. Hold on to something. This may feel like you're on fire for just a minute. This fire of God just burn out every blockage. Turn every blockage, just reduce it to nothing. Leaving everything clean, clear, and open the way Jesus designed it to be. By the stripes of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. And EGA, if you feel any difference, just let me know so we can celebrate. We can give Jesus all the praise, glory, and honor. Don't be surprised if you feel kind of like heat coming up the back of your neck and heat right here in your chest in this area. <laughs> All right, let me know. Keep me informed. That'll be a good test. 
take a blood pressure test so you can have that testimony. All right, any more prayer requests? Type those in the chat. Doesn't matter how many prayer requests you typed in before, you can you can have as many as you need to get your prayer list answered. So go ahead and go ahead and just type them all in. All right, yeah, we can definitely pray about your brain and kidneys. So Father God, we come to you again on behalf of EGA, and Father, we thank you for the healing of his cardiovascular system, and even his heart, his blood pressure be normal. And Father, we just, I speak life, health, and peace over his brain. And any of those little microclots that are there to be dissolved to nothing safely. Speak life to any damaged brain tissue. Command it to live now in the name of Jesus. May his kidneys be clean, clear, and healthy. Toxins and obstructions must come out of those kidneys now, by the stripes of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. Any more prayer requests, type them in. Anybody at all have a prayer request? It can be for yourself, a family member, or a friend. Whichever the case may be, just type it in. I'll pray for you. Absolutely, we can pray about good night's sleep. Father God, we come to you on behalf of EGA, and Father, we just ask you to give him favor in having good night's sleep. Father, he would have that restful, restorative sleep that recharges his energy, helps his mind to be clear and focused. He just rejuvenates his body completely. So we speak peace over his mind. Father, we just ask that you continue to protect him as he sleeps. So that he would find peace and rest and meditating in your word. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, any more prayer requests, type them in the chat. Even if you're on Rumble, I can see the chat on Rumble, so feel free. People on Rumble just want to say hello. That's fine, too. If anybody has a praise report, I'm always happy to hear praise reports, to hear what God has done for you.
<laughs> we can do that too. Father God, we come to you on behalf of EGA's dogs, and Father, we ask that you would help them to be calm, Father, that they'd be less anxious, and that they would be obedient, that they stay out of trouble and don't, don't become a problem. We make this request in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Excuse me. All right. Well, you got any more prayer requests? Type them in. Or if there's somebody that hasn't typed one in yet and you have one, go ahead and type it in. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to answer prayer. Well, you have not because you ask not, so go ahead and ask. and see if any more prayer requests come in or praise reports or anything. Wait probably, what, another 60 seconds or so and see if anybody has a prayer request. Oh, yeah. I'll put the email up there again in case somebody has a prayer request that they don't want to put over the airwaves publicly. They want to keep it private. There's the email right there at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and send it to that address. I'll answer your email through your prayer request through email. God still works miracles through email. He is able and he does do it. I've seen it many times. So if you got a prayer request you want to keep private, send it to that email address at the bottom of the screen. And I'll pray for you through email. And we, your prayer request can just remain between you, me, and God. And that's all the further it needs to go. Or you can type your prayer request in the chat right now. And I can answer your request live on the air. We got about 30 seconds left. <laughs> we don't have any more prayer requests or praise reports. And... All right, that protect us, help us all during the time. Yeah, that's a good one. So, Father God, we come to you on behalf of well, just all the citizens of the United States. And Father, we just ask that you protect them, to help them during times of economic crisis. And Father, that you would arrange income. Yes, Father, that you didn't arrange income. That you give them inspiration for their income streams. That you'd deliver provision to them through channels they didn't even expect. That you'd give them ideas to generate income 
that you be give them inspiration so that the tough economic times the country is facing wouldn't be a burden on them. And especially so for your children. Make this request in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And remember, God blesses us so that we can be a blessing to others. He gives us provision so that we can share it with those in need. And through that, we can show the love of Christ. That they can see the love of Christ in us. And then that also opens up opportunities to share the gospel. So that they too can be saved. And if you like, if you like to see signs, wonders, and miracles, preach the gospel. That just simply means proclaim it. That doesn't mean you have to get up on a soapbox and yell it to a crowd. But you can preach just by sharing your testimony, what Jesus has done for you. What Jesus has done to help you. The comfort Jesus has given you in hard times. You know, Jesus doesn't say that it's going to be smooth sailing. He says, in this world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. So Jesus will be with us in those times of trouble. He'll help us to get through those times of trouble. Whatever the trial is, whatever the trouble, whatever the problem, whatever seems like a crisis in the moment, Jesus is always there to help us. If we'll just turn to him and ask him. Ask him for guidance. Ask him for peace. Ask him for provision. But he's always there. He's, he promised he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So in any kind of trial we're going through, we're not going through it alone. Jesus is right there with us. We just need to ask him for his help. Invite him into the situation. No, Jesus never promised us we wouldn't have trials tribulation or troubles he promised he would be with us in those trials tribulations and troubles that he would help us to get through those times of trial tribulation and trouble and so yeah we're still going to have have to face some things that are, may not be pleasant but we can take heart knowing jesus is right there with us and that if we'll lean on him rely on him and invite him into that situation and ask him for his help that we don't have to face it alone and not only that, we have our brothers and sisters in Christ to help us, too. And we can be a help to our brothers and sisters in Christ. Jesus said, they will know that you are my disciples by the love that we, you have one for another. And what more obvious way to show love for one for another than to help those, your brothers and sisters, who are going through a trial, going through a tough time. But they don't have to do it on their own. They have help. They have someone to lean on. They have someone to pray for them. They have someone to lend their time and talent to help fix the situation and make it better. And don't think for a minute those, those who aren't saved don't notice those things. And what better witness? To show the love of Christ by doing something nice for someone, something you didn't have to do. <laughs> hey, blessings, Ness. Welcome. Yeah, you found me on live on the air for a change. And if you have a prayer request, go ahead and type it in. You got off work or you were on a live. Hey, congratulations and thank you, Jesus.
See, we prayed about that. Hey, you're welcome anytime. That's what I'm here for. And thank you for the praise report. I know there's people that get their prayer answered and they never bother to come back and share the praise report. So definitely, definitely appreciate the praise report because that means we can give Jesus all the praise, glory, and honor for coming through, for delivering, for answering that prayer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because Jesus deserves all the praise, glory, and honor. We thank him. Thank him so much for all he's done, all he's doing, and all he will do. Jesus is just so awesome. I wish there were words that could act were more adequate than just Jesus is awesome, because he's even better than that. Just wish everybody could know him. Well, really, everybody could if they wanted to. <laughs> I wish they already knew him, though. So. Yeah, like the old song says, what a friend we have in Jesus. We got any more prayer requests? Type them in. You're welcome. It's my honor to be able to pray for you and your loved ones. And to be to you know to have God use me this way. You know, to have a front row seat, God work through me and be able to have a front row seat to watch God work. And then to be able to celebrate with the people when God moves on their behalf, to be able to give all the praise, glory, and honor to Jesus, to be able to experience that joy of the Lord. So it's really an honor for me to be able to do it. Absolutely. But Father God, we give you thanks for your love, your grace, and your mercy. And Father, we thank you for sending Jesus, who laid down his life on the cross and shed his blood to pay the penalty for our sin, by whose stripes we were healed. Jesus, we thank you for giving your name and authority to every believer to do the Great Commission. That is, to preach the gospel to every creature, making disciples of all nations, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. And Father, we come to you on behalf of Kason, and Father, we ask that you would, that you would influence his taste buds so that healthy food would taste better to him, so that he could grow up healthy and strong and disease-free. So, Father, we just ask that you give his taste buds a touch so that good things that are good for him taste better to him and things that aren't good for him that he just has no desire for them anymore. We make this request in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> Be looking for a praise report on that one. <laughs> yeah, but really whatever children eat when they're growing up, that's what they want to keep eating when they grow up, when they're all grown. You're welcome. You know, you stop back and think your favorite foods are the things that you enjoyed or things you ate when you were a child. Those tend to be your favorite things that you keep going back to when you're grown. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, that praise report is on the way. <laughs> we can pray about that too, Tippy. The father, you heard that. Zella needs 
needs you to touch her taste buds so that she will enjoy healthy foods, foods that are nourishing and have good for her. So, Father, we just ask that you taste, touch her taste buds as well. Help her to find the pleasure in eating good things, things that you created to nourish her body and repair her body. We make this request in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ness has put an amen on that prayer for Zella. So. Thank you for thank you for everyone who agrees in prayer. That where two or more are gathered in the name of Jesus, he is right there in the midst. You know, that's what, that's what it's all about. We come together, brothers and sisters in Christ, and even those who don't believe, we still pray. You don't have to be a Christian for me to pray for you. You just have to put the request in the chat. Meatballs and red sauce. Wow. Yeah, she needs more variety. Yeah, Zella needs some chicken fried steak with green beans and and corn. <laughs> Maybe a hot roll along the side. Testify, Ness, let us know. Through, you, through your testimony, Jesus gets glory, and he deserves all the glory. I'm still taking prayer requests, so if anybody has one, type it in. Or a praise report. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, yeah, Ness, we can pray about that. Father God, we come to you on behalf of Ness, and Father, we ask that you bless her with good, restful sleep tonight so she can wake up refreshed, ready to face the day. And Father, we just thank you for your continued protection of Ness and her children. And Father, we just ask that you, you know, we invite Jesus in to touch Zella that that trauma from the hurricane would be healed. Oh, that she would get moved past that experience. And 
and it would no longer trouble her. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, any more prayer requests? Go ahead and type those in the chat. All right. Love you too, brother. Sleep well, holy moly. All right. Well, All right. Thank you, Ness. Thank you for praying. Amazingly, I didn't think I was going to be on here this long, but it had been just a little over an hour. Good night, Ness. Sleep well. Love you in Christ. So, any more prayer requests? I'm going to wait one another 60 seconds, I guess. And if there's no more prayer requests, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night myself. Because, well, after 11... Amen. We say thank you, Jesus. All praise, glory, and honor to Jesus Christ. Well, think what Jesus went through so we could have healing by his stripes. They whipped him with a cat of nine tails. Shredded his flesh to the bone, beat him with rods, punched him, they kicked him, they spit on him, made fun of him, they ripped his beard out by the hands full, drove a crown of thorns into his head, and then made him carry his own cross until he collapsed. And then they made Simon of Cyrene carry it the rest of the way up to the hill. Then they nailed him to a cross, and that's where he paid for our, where our sin was on the cross that beating he took on the way to the cross that's where he paid for our healing <laughs> and he knew what he was doing he did it willingly out of love for us oh blessings luana welcome absolutely Eyesight and a bruise on the bottom of your right foot. We can definitely pray about that. Jesus already paid for the healing of that too. Well, Father God, we give you thanks for your love, grace, and mercy. And Father, we thank you for sending Jesus, who laid down his life and shed his blood on the cross for our sin, by whose stripes we were healed. And Jesus, we thank you for giving your name and authority to every believer to do the Great Commission. That is, preach the gospel to every creature, making disciples of all nations heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. And by that authority, I come to you on behalf of Luana. I command her eyes be made clear. Command those lenses to focus the light properly for that retina to be healthy and whole. For the optic nerve to be fully restored. And all pain on the bottom of that right foot. Leave her now by the stripes of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. All pain in that foot must go now. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Luana, let me know how much difference you notice. Go ahead and test those out and let me know. I will hang out here for a little bit longer and wait for the for the report.
It's going to sit tight for a little bit and wait for a response. All right, the right eye is still a little blurry. All right, so Father God, we come to you on behalf of Lawana. We thank you for the healing that's already taken place. It's already manifested. Now I command the blurriness, leave that right eye now by the stripes of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, test that eye out and let me know how much difference you notice. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing that eye. We give you all the praise, glory, and honor. All goes to Jesus Christ, our Savior, our healer, our provider, our protector, our high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Jesus, we give you all the praise, glory, and honor for the healing of Lawana's eye. That's right, we say hallelujah, Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We give you thank you, we thanks, thanksgiving, we give you thanks, Jesus. We give you all the praise, glory, and honor. Thank you for loving us so much that you paid the price for this healing, for our salvation. We say thank you, Jesus. Because Jesus is better than awesome. <laughs> there aren't words to describe how good Jesus is. Hey, blessings, Q-Boy. Welcome. Hey, your foot's better, too. Well, if there's any pain left in that foot, let me know. I'll pray again. That pain has to leave. It doesn't have a choice. It has to go. Amen, Tippy. If he says, we serve a living, healing, mighty Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus. If there's, if there's any pain left in that foot at all, just let me know. All right, we will. We'll pray again. So, Father God, we give you thanks. We give all the praise, glory, and honor to Jesus by whose stripes that healing was paid for. We thank you that the pain has been reduced. Mobility has increased. And Father, we know that your best is 100% complete healing for that foot. So by the authority that Jesus has given me through his name, I command all pain depart from that right foot now. Luana's foot must be pain-free and completely healed by the stripes of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, try that foot out and let me know how much difference you notice.
I know it's going to be better because it was better the first time. <laughs> so, we, I mean, that alone, the fact that there's any improvement when we pray, that tells us that it's God's will for the foot to be healed. Because if it wasn't, there wouldn't have been any improvement. So that takes that out of, that's not a question anymore. We know it's God's will for that foot to be healed because we've seen an improvement that quickly. So now there's no question. It is God's will for that foot to be healed. I'll tell you a little secret. It's always God's will for everyone to be healed. Healing is for today. And it's God's will for you to be healed. And really, the, the healing is a demonstration of God's love for you. All right, well, want to give us the report? We say, we have a hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give us the report. Tell us what Jesus has done for you tonight. You know, I don't mind waiting for a praise report. It's worth the wait. It, I know it takes a little while for the to type it out and for, for it to get to restream and then restream, put it back out over the airwaves. So it all takes a little bit of time, and it's well worth it. Wait just a little longer to hear what Luana has to say, her testimony of what Jesus has done. Let us know how much change there's been in that foot. <laughs> All right. That bruise can't be hurting if you're patting your feet. I can pat my feet and give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that healing. Thank you for the relief from that pain. We give all the glory, all the praise, glory, and honor goes to Jesus Christ, by whose stripes Lawana was healed and is healed. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your sacrifice. We give all the praise, glory, and honor to Jesus. It's my honor, Luana. It's my honor to be able to touch and agree with you in prayer and to have that front row seat to watch God work on your behalf. It's an honor for God to work through me to benefit you. That he can reach out through me to you and show you how much he loves and cares for you. That Jesus, 2,000 years ago on that cross, paid for that healing. And that's because we, we pray to him tonight in faith, and he reached out and that healing manifested. <laughs> I 
But we just we just get to give Jesus all the praise, glory, and honor for that healing. And we get to celebrate Jesus. We get to tell people about how good Jesus is. Now you have a testimony that you can share what Jesus has done for you personally. As if salvation wasn't enough, now you have a testimony of healing. Medical science can't explain these miracles. But Jesus explains these miracles. It's because Jesus paid for it. Because he loved you. He took those stripes so you could be healed. He paid for that healing on the way to the cross. He paid for everyone's he paid for everyone's healing. That so many out of ignorance or wrong doctrine haven't received their healing yet. Jesus is so awesome. And he's even better than that. Gooder than good. Better than the best. Words aren't adequate to express how good and amazing Jesus is. You know, your testimony of healing and, and all the other testimonies you have, you can use those in evangelism to share Jesus with people. It doesn't have to be a gospel tract or a prepared speech, but you can just share your personal testimony of what Jesus has done for you, what he means to you, how he's helped you. And you can just share it just in conversation with someone so that to help them find their way to Jesus. Me too, Tippy. <laughs> if I think too much about how awesome Jesus is and what he's done for me, it makes me cry too. Because there's just no way to, to express it. There just aren't the words. They're, they're just not words that can adequately express it. Tippy was touched by John eleven thirty five and made him made Tippy fall in love with Jesus, and she's been on fire for him ever since. Oh, absolutely, because everything Jesus did for us was motivated by love and compassion, and we're supposed to be just like him. Words aren't, there aren't words adequate to describe Jesus, how awesome he is, how good he is, how loving he is.
And I was actually on last night. I had a guest. I had a guest live in person in the same room with me last night. And we were talking about evangelism. So, yeah, feel free to check out the replay from last night. And the topic last night was evangelism. We were talking about evangelism. I think it was a very good broadcast. And this is another very good broadcast because of Jesus. Jesus made this broadcast good. If there's any more prayer requests, go ahead and type those in the chat. Any prayer requests at all. Doesn't make any difference how many you've already had tonight. You can have more. <laughs> I don't put a limit on it. Oh, thank you, Luana. Yeah, that's a picture I took myself a year or two ago. I guess it's been about two years ago. Yeah, that was a sunset on a hayfield. Just a little bit longer to make sure everybody got their prayer requests answered. Okay. If there are no more prayer requests, I'm going to end the broadcast. We'll get some sleep. We'll sleep good tonight. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. When Jesus went to raise Lazarus, he had such compassion on them because of the grief that he, he cried too. But, you know, that, that's really what makes Jesus such an, a great high priest for us because He's experienced grief that we experienced. He's experienced pain. <laughs> You're welcome, Luana. Anytime. Here, let me let me put my email back up there on the bottom of the screen. If ever you need prayer, and I don't happen to be on the air, which coincidentally rhymes. There's my email address on the bottom of the screen. You can send your prayer request to that email address, and I can answer your email, your prayer request through email. I've seen God work miracles through email, so He can do it. He can do that too. That's it. Jesus, the God Man, 100% God, 100% human. Yeah.
Well, absolutely, yes. That's what the email is for. It's for people that have emergencies and I'm not on the air, they can reach me that way, or for matters they want to keep private, they don't want to put out on the airwaves for the public to see. That's exactly what the email is for. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't pray and tell. I keep those prayer requests confidential. There's only three that need to know what the prayer request is. The person who sent it, me, and God. And the person who sent it and God know about it before I do. <laughs> so... It doesn't need to go any further than that. You know, it says, where two or more are gathered in my name, I will be there in the midst of them. So, the person making their request and me, that's two. God makes three. So, that's all that's necessary to get the job done. I've seen a lot of miraculous healings happening through email. You know, and I always keep in mind, if I had a private prayer request and sent it but through email to somebody, I wouldn't want them putting it out on the public airwaves. I wouldn't want them telling everybody about it. So since I wouldn't want anybody to do that to me, I won't do that to anybody else. I always keep those private. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close this broadcast. Thank you to everyone who came in and, and gave me your prayer requests. Thank you for allowing me the honor of praying for you and your loved ones. And I pray that everyone gets a good night's sleep and wakes up refreshed in the morning, ready to face the day. And I hope to see all of you on the next broadcast. But until then, be blessed.